Ever since I discovered Noel Fielding on the IT crowd, I have loved his offbeat humor and dry delivery. He's now headlining a new Apple TV Plus original series, The Completely Made-Up Adventures of Dick Turpin. It's a period comedy, but will it make you laugh? A reluctant leader of a gang of rogues sets out on a series of wild adventures, all while trying to outwit the corrupt lawman and thief-taker Jonathan Wild. So this is a six episode first season and each of the episodes is about 30-ish minutes. The presentation is irreverent and sarcastic, but also very self-aware, sometimes even subtly breaking the fourth wall. Noel Fielding is Dick Turpin, a butcher's son who longs to be a highwayman. Basically, it's an outlaw who robs carriages as they travel. The problem is though, that Dick, he's pretty inept. And while he has delusions of grandeur in becoming a world famous highwayman, he has zero clue how to accomplish that. So when he obtains a gang, the foursome, they become a dysfunctional but tight-knit group with quirkiness that overflows between them. Fielding is pretty funny, usually executing his comedic timing in quiet and under-the-breath types of ways. This is mostly effective because for the comedy to work, we have to be paying attention, but also because the jokes, they're delivered mainly as asides. There's also a lot of situational comedy that points out how poor of a villain Dick is. Now, some of this reminds me of Monty Python, diving into juvenile humor and then exploiting it to the fullest so that it goes from mildly funny to absurdity, which then can add a huge smile to your face. I mean, for instance, imagine any 13-year-old boy making jokes about Turpin's first name. We get a ton of dick-themed humor. And yeah, it is very childish, even stupid, but sometimes it made me chuckle along with the cast. But a few times, though, it did get tiresome. Now, for the story, each episode is a small, contained tale, but each works to advance the larger narrative forward. The overarching storyline is about Turpin's journey from terrible highwayman and gang leader to one who's mildly effective, but also showcasing Turpin's influence on all those he comes in contact with. Now, in addition to Fielding, we've got Hugh Bonneville, Ellie White, Mark Wooten, Dwayne Bochy, and Mark Heap, within guest appearances from Tamson Grieg, Greg Davies, Asim Chaudhry, and Jessica Hines. Now, Bonneville chews through his scenes, and he has fun chemistry and banter with Fielding, but it's the guest stars who really did it for me. Tamsin Greek is sarcastic and ruthless, all while maintaining a somewhat whimsical persona. Greg Davies, I thought he was brilliant, and even though he only appears in one episode, he creates a character that is hilariously callous and matter-of-fact. Now, as a huge fan of the Edgar Wright series Spaced, I loved seeing Jessica Hines in this. She's absolutely unrecognizable and dove headlong into her character. She is devilishly engaging, and she gets to play up some ridiculousness that is right in line with what her character is. And then finally, Asim Chowdhury has more of a small recurring role. He's playing a sort of wizard. Through timid delivery and snarky retorts, he perfectly complements the ineptitude of Fielding's Turpin. They're like the dynamic duo of dumb, and each time Chaudhry came on the screen, I thought it was a joy. Now, I'm unclear on whether this series will be a weekly release or if it's going to drop all at once. Either way, though, I think this is best served by watching in small chunks. Even though the episodes are on the shorter side, I found that by binging it, the humor can become a little repetitive. I mean, sometimes that works great because it reinforces a joke until it becomes absurdist, but that typically only happens inside a single episode. When watching back to back to back, the story starts to lose its effectiveness in creating laughs and chuckles. And I think that's because the similar joke structures become noticeable and then eventually have the opposite intended effect. The humor, it becomes grating, or at the very least dull, but when viewed individually, maybe two at a time within breaks between more viewings, the comedy can stay fresh, which then makes it so much easier to connect with the characters and make you want to continue on the journey with them. Now, because this is a period piece, I got to address the costumes and the set designs. These are wonderfully crafted, and there is a brilliant visual discrepancy between the wealthy and the poor. The elite are clothed in luxurious fabrics and perfectly coiffed hairdos, while the peasants, they're filthy, wearing rags and giving off the appearance that they attract flies wherever they go. And because of Dick Turpin's interests, fashion commentary weaves its way into the dialogue, creating opportunities for some excellent sight gags and creative interactions. Now, I think the strongest element within this show is that they can pretty much do whatever they want and have it work because they've already acknowledged that each of these escapades are complete fabrications designed to pump up Turpin's reputation and legend. This dives into a little sci-fi, introducing time travel, sort of, and then including mysticism and magic. And in the context of this story, all of it works and it feels part of the world. 
This is excellent for a casual watch show, but that doesn't detract from the brilliant performances that we get. Noel Fielding is spectacular, lending his dry, comedic timing to craft an absurdist persona who is both endearing and charismatic. The supporting cast all contribute to ridiculous storylines, each receiving moments of prominence, allowing them to shine individually as well as collectively. With immersive set designs and beautifully crafted costumes, we're transported to a convincing time filled with treachery and danger, as well as pomp and pageantry. The comedy can become repetitive and dull, but when viewed with breaks, the show delivers sarcastic and witty situations that are going to put a huge smile on your face. There's no sex or nudity, some profanity, and some violence. I give the completely made-up adventures of Dick Turpin four out of five couches. So what's an absurdist or ridiculous comedy that you like to watch? I mentioned Spaced, but Black Books, it's another one of my favorites. Let me know yours, though, in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.